Yeah. Really be so so the, oh. the biggest the biggest problem emotionally too. The, the biggest yeah. problem yeah. with feminism right now is this is this lie that is based on equality. Mm -hmm. That equality idea is based on the blank slate, meaning that like everybody's a blank slate and we're all the same. That's how you get transgenderism. That's how you get all the rest of this stuff. And it's this belief that fundamental belief that uh, that human beings are like exactly the same rather than like we are fundamentally biochemically, psychologically, neurologically different from for women very women. good reason. We're not yeah. the same. We're not we're not right. men and women are not equal. Mm -hmm. No, I, no look, because I, because yeah. what's equal? That's the, the principle of equal. See, I, when, I was on Dr. Phil and I got asked that question. They're like, you don't believe in equality. I'm like, no, no, I do not believe in equality because we're you need to define terms. What's the challenge? What's the uh, what's the context of that equality? That's if it's childbirth, I can't give birth because I'm a biological male. But if I f am made to feel that it's so unfair and I'm oppressed that I need to have some surgical you know thing done to me, or I got mm -hmm. I got to I got to create a, a, a new Kickstarter fund to like See, fund my mm -hmm. my protest about not being able to. That's right. uh, I would never even occur to me, right? Mm -hmm. But the challenge is childbirth. Only women can have children, okay? There are only two sexes, there are only two genders, thank you very much. But the thing is, is that within that context, like for instance, if, it's, if it comes to like say, um, you know, throwing a baseball or something, men have a natural proclivity to be able to throw a ball with more force, but they're, you know, more accuracy and put their, their, their shoulders into it, like just mm -hmm. without, without even being taught to do that because mm -hmm. it's just something innate to, to the human male. That's kind of where feminism it, falls through as they advocate mm -hmm. for transgender men in women's sports. And that's where it's just, Oh, because it's because the argument is, it's, be, it's because yeah. the psychology is, what? is smashing headlong into reality. That's why it's and they so, can't, they can't hold, they can't hold up the through. line anymore. It falls <laughs> Well, but so, the, so long, the long and short, short of this is that th depending on what the challenges or the context is, what are we talking about equality? Mm -hmm. Okay, because there's certain things that I'm going to be better at right. as being a biological male in the way I think and the things mm -hmm. that I do than say what she's going to be. Now, she has strengths and talents and, and uh, that are innate to being female mm -hmm. that I don't have. Right. So we're innate complements to one another, evolved complements to one another. Yeah. The biggest problem with feminism, why do we still have feminism today, is because we still believe in this horse shit that we're all the same and they're all <laughs> blank slates and they ain't they all, oh, we're just the plumbing's different. Get well, the fuck well, out well, of here. Well, what's funny like is that like, aside from being able to, males being able to give birth, we do mm -hmm. have a quality of opportunity, pretty we much. Do. You look around we and have a quality we of do. opportunity. We don't have a quality of outcome, but again, that comes down to what mm -hmm. you said. Men and women are different, so naturally, the results and outcomes are going to play out a little bit different. Let me let me tag one more thing on here because I know you. I think I watched you on Destiny's show. I don't know what the hell he mm -hmm. calls it, but he was saying something to the effect that a, a like the, the ideal state for human beings is to have like for men just to have a little bit more masculinity than their femininity and for women it's supposed to have a little bit more femininity than their masculinity but they're mm -hmm. both supposed to be as close to androgynous as possible first know. of all I'm that's a pipe dream I'm because it is biologically that. impossible for that to happen because mm -hmm. biologically genetically your brain architecture is going to be that of a female or that of a male mm -hmm. so that is simply not going to happen nor is it something that we ought to teach people to that try to like level thing off. People, because which... because what's really I mean from a biological like naturalistic perspective, men should be really high in masculinity and eh, kind of low in that femininity kind of thing because that's the natural state. Mm -hmm. And if you put those two and women femininity and a masculinity down there, mm -hmm. put those two together and you have a great fucking relationship. Mm -hmm. The end goal for feminism and for wokeism and for gynocentrism or whatever the it is it, name the ism it's androgyny and androgyny mm -hmm. always leads to stagnation it always leads to the death of a species mm -hmm. when they are when there's when they're in that kind of balanced state because they're mm -hmm. unable to adapt to a changing chaotic environment mm -hmm. androgyny is never the fucking goal and it's even just coming close to it is never going to be better mm -hmm. than you have a traditionally conventionally masculine guy and a traditionally co a conventionally mm -hmm. feminine, feminine female because the two are better complements when you do that if right. you have them both they they become things mm -hmm, when yeah. you're when you're androgynous there's no you don't need anything outside of yourself you don't right. because you because really if you think about it androgynous species they fuck themselves isn't that, they isn't do it? and they reproduce like independent like, <laughs> yeah. hermaphroditic budding right, or some right. shit like that <laughs> like, and, you know, you know what, and you know what does that earthworms they clam that's what they fuck well, well, plants. I, I want to ask this like, question even some plants are you guys ever be fucking with a bitch and like <laughs> here we go like, bring it down like you calculator like you uh, have okay. her around you yeah. and you're just like 
you're being yourself, you're doing your thing. Maybe you're making music, right? Sure. Right? Maybe you're just like talking to some people, showing her around, some networking. And you can see it in her eyes. <laughs> she wants to be you so bad. She holds it in her side, holds it inside. What? Holds it inside. She just wants to be you so bad. <laughs> it's what makes her happen? like you, but you can honestly see in her eyes. She wants to be you so bad. I swear to God. Dude, in another life, you would make a really good Baptist minister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? I wasn't going to say it.